What's up again, everybody? Max Ninja here, and, again, and, and right now I'm gonna give you the Heihachi visual patch notes for patch 4, 4.20. Blazing. Anyway, uh, they kinda went wild with Heihachi in this patch. I'm not gonna lie. They kinda made him dolls and whatnot. So yeah, so anyway, again, just like the other videos, I'm gonna just go down the list, with our link, what, where the patch notes are, so you can look, look at them and follow along. I'm gonna put them on screen too, so there's that. Alright, on to Heihachi. Okay, during rage, down button plus two, bugs fit. He unnaturally misses the morning against the specific state and jump stats as such attack range to span him upward and push back weaken like the attack easier to hit on opponent. So pretty much they're like, you know what? This missed a lot. What like what? This is like sometimes this mix on jumping opponents and now they just made it easier, like and they're pretty much saying it, it's easier to hit them when they're like floating and stuff. So yeah. So this is easier to hit. I don't see anybody really use this in jungle because I see them use his rage drive, but we'll get to his rage drive. Cause the next one, standing one, reach is extended. We extended the reach to make the move easier to use it as a poking move. So yeah, his one, look at it. His one, it reaches so far. It almost, it almost reaches from range two. Shit, pretty much right reasons from from frame from uh range two. Really? That's that's kinda wild that this reaches from range two. I'm trying to get to range two while just Ah okay. Anyway, yeah. This pretty much is a range two jab now. And you know why that's scary? Because of this. Yeah. You can get in counter hit by that? Oh god. Cause if you get counter hit. Uh, don't ask me to do a combo, because I don't know what the combo is, but uh yeah. That's scary. His jab being that far is terrifying. Especially if like you're if you're trying to come in with an attack and you just this, this, this. Yeah, you're got you're kinda you're kinda screwed. That's it. It's it's insane that he has he has pretty much a range to a range to jab. That's some fucker realm stuff right there. Look at it. That. That's crazy. Anyway, okay, next one. Four, two, three. We change the frame advantage from block from minus three frames to minus two frames. Reduce the frame disadvantage from block to enable them to beat an opponent's movement and attack with ten frame star of each one block. Wait, why aren't you? Oh, wait, I got it. Uh, you gotta be. Wait, yeah, wait, why aren't you? Is that? Wait. Oh, that's natural. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is minus two now. So pretty much what they're saying is, if, if your opponent does not do something that's like a 10 frame, a 10 frame, a 10 frame here, he actually is going to beat them. Or, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much they changed what, they changed the knee. So that's like, this is now minus two. So they're pretty much saying, hey, if they try to like do something that's like, not my, not, that's not a 10 frame move, I can just interrupt them. Like, screw it. You're not doing anything. And then the next one's pretty much the same thing, just like it's just four three. My eyes too. So it's it's pretty much the same thing. So no I don't of course I don't need to go over that. So yeah. This is really good for Heihachi because people can just disrespect them and Heiji Dash is like, no. Stop it. You try to interrupt, flash punch combo. Nope. Okay, on to the next one. Four four. We made the distance to the opponent closer on hit. And see, I uh, let's see. Down forward one two is guaranteed when a move hit hit a crouching opponent, but the distance was far and off to miss the opponent. Such a distance to the opponent was made closer on hit. So what they mean is, let me just set her to crouching. That's supposed that's supposed to be guaranteed if they're crouching. Kind of like if you get if you do down forward one on Julia's crouching state, you hit them while they're crouching with down forward one, you get a guaranteed uh forward one forward one four 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 one four. So yeah. So apparently this didn't leave them. Yeah, I messed up that there, so. So yeah, they're like much closer on it. And let's see. I mean look at the patch notes. I'll explain on the next one why they're closer on hit. And why this is made so much easier if they're like even this far okay, this far away is still gonna hit them. So yeah, that's another good bug fit slash buff for Heihachi. Especially since apparently it missed a lot. But you want to know why that hits a lot now more? Let's see. I'll show you. Because next one. Down for one. The reach is extended. We extend the reach to make the move easier for a poking game. 
This is also a range two move now. Look how far this goes. This is like, again, this is some Bakuram. Look at that. Beyond range two. Oh my, oh, let's say 2.25. Dude, that's, this move, it goes far. Two point, oh my, how far does this go, man? Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to like go back 2.3. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's say it goes all the way to like the 2.3. 2.35 range. That's insane. That's like really insane. Like, you try and come in on Heihachi. No. Heihachi is pretty much dolesome now with his long limbs and stuff. Like, yeah, try to come in on Heihachi. That's why they did the whole that. That's why they did that. To make it, that's how it's so much easier to hit too because down four one going that far kind of ridiculous. I don't know if Heihachi needed that, but it's wild. It's super. It's so wild that they gave him that. Look how far this goes. That's so far. Two point four. Okay, officially it goes two point four. It's a. It's the. It's max range is like two point four. Ah, oh. bruh. Why did he really need this, dude? Did he really need that? Man, Heiachi's gonna be a nightmare to fight. He's gonna be such a nightmare. Anyway, next one, down one. We changed the attack star from 17, 18 frames to 16, 17 frames. The homing performance has, imp has improved since it was difficult to use because of the homing performance slow attack star. I would just been ready to make it easier to use. So he's down hammer, so. It's good. It's I guess it's like not. It's good. It has better tracking now. Let me go make her sidestep. Let's see, sides the left. Let me side step right. Yeah, this has Oh, I did not mean to do that, but I'm got like So yeah, this has better tracking now. So yeah, you ain't gotta side you ain't gotta side step that much. You probably can sidewalk it. Let me see. Nope. You're not going anywhere. Besides the... So yeah, they made the tracking better and it made the star faster. So it's faster and it's better tracking. Again, fighting Heihachi is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, on to the next one. Back four, two, three. We change the frame advantage on block from nine frames to six frames. The frame advantage upon hit was reduced by three frames. As it was difficult to form an arrow combo after a spin attack, frame disadvantage was reduced. So now that's plus 20 instead of what it was. Let's see, three frames plus 17, so. So what you're doing, if you're using that during combos, it's better now. And this is minus six, but you can just duck it. I don't see anybody using that outside of a combo, so I don't see. Because you're gonna die if you do that. I think he has, he does have mids for that. Minus 12. He does that mids from I don't see anybody doing that in the combo. But yeah, this is it's easier to do it's easier to do air uh, aerial comp aerial screws with this because he has more frame advantage to actually dash up. So that's a good buff. Okay. Let's see. Wave dash four. We change the frame advantage upon hit from plus five to plus eight. We made the distance to the opponent pump closer on hit, so the distance opponent pump hit was far was difficult to keep the attack even in the advantage situation, therefore we shouldn't the distance made it easier to attack with four th four three, etc. So yeah, this is a plus eight now. And they're closer on hit. So yeah. If he actually just decides to do that. Just to do the mind game. Because like, he doesn't have a normal hell sweep. He has to do it he has to do it like I think. He pretty much has to do he pretty much has to do it twice to knock you down. Of course you can just block the first one, but. It's minus twenty-three. It's minus twenty-three on the first one. So yeah, pretty much. I can do. I can actually attack now. Again, that's another good buff for Ahachi. That's a. It's okay. Anyway, now while rising one, we change the attack star from 14 to 15 to 13 to 14 frames. We change the damage. We, we change the damage from 20 to 17. So let me check, turn off rage. To compensate for reducing the damage, oh, oh, they changed the damage. They changed the damage from 20 to 17. To compensate for reducing the damage, we made the move easier to use as a punisher for crouching position. So, this is 13, 13 frames now. And then, of course, you follow with quarter circle forward too. 
So yeah. My, being at minus 13 is scary. Is even scarier now. Cause like I, I think you definitely think you can uh, get the. Uh, you can get. Oh wait, you can get rage frat from that now. Let me just turn that back on. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's got that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Wait, crown type. Just let me make sure you can do that. Okay, you can add that. Never mind. Okay, now I'm gonna edit that out. Anyway. So yeah. This is this is a, this is a very scary 13 frame punisher now. And it's 41 damage. But they, even though they did reduce the damage, it's still pretty. It's a 13 frame while resin Punisher, and it still does 41 damage. So that's scary, really scary, really, really scary. This was def. This was def. This is this. Like I said in the Dragon Out video, this has been a JDCR patch. They buffed Armor King to hell. They buffed Dragon Off, not to hell, but like they just buffed him. Gave him his crouching down to down to his down to down to with the crouching stats back. And with Heihachi, they buffed him so you can hear the whole Hey! JDCR! Pick pick Heihachi, please! He's good now. I bet he still doesn't, but like, yeah, JDCR is like eating good right now. But yeah, what my thoughts on the Heihachi patch. Standing one is insane, especially when you can do his do his freaking rage drive from that far. His down for one is insane that is Fakuram levels of like why does this reach so far that's insane but his other buffs I'm like okay you know what I don't mind these especially that I don't mind stuff like that I don't mind that he gets more frame revenge on stuff he kind of deserves it so I think this is a good at this is a good ass patch for Heihachi I agree with this patch there I don't find anything wrong with this patch with Heihachi I don't think he's like super strong but like he's definitely stronger and yeah, I think Heihachi is going to be pretty good for the rest of season four. But anyway, that's going to be it for Heihachi. I want to thank y'all for watching. If y'all want more and you like you like this and you want more patch notes videos, like, share, and subscribe this. Because like I said, I'm like kind of sitting down and doing all these in a row so, somewhat. And it's going to be, it's going to take me a minute to go through all of them. I'm not going to go through all the characters. I'm just going to go through the ones that didn't have like, you know, bug just one or two bug fixes i'm gonna do like the major ones and i don't know which one I'm, which person i'm gonna do, do next so anyway like i said if you like what you saw like share subscribe this and i will see you guys in the next video